All right, so here's a little script I wrote to allow people to uh, draw in Godot. You know, if you just need to make a quick sprite or whatever. So go to 2D scene, add a tile map, child node, um, drag onto it or attach script and select the pixel map script, which I'll go over later. All right. Now you have it on there. Uh, I'm gonna click on tile map. It says you need a palette texture. For that, I recommend just grabbing something from lowspec.com. They have some really cool palettes. Currently only supports this one row texture uh, right now. Pop that on there. This is a 32 by 32 pixel uh, cell, so that's what I have there. And I just create, uh, check this box, and it basically serves as a button. And now we have all the colors from that palette right there. And then I can just draw them. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, let's say I'm creating some grass. You can use all the palette tools like fill. Um, you can use, yeah, grass. Yay, so cool. Um, yeah, so you can just do whatever. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm drawing here. A flower. I'm clearly an artist. Okay, boom. Uh, and then when you're done, you just click, you name your flower, your sprite, you're gonna name it Cool Flower. And then you just create sprite. Just click that button, it says it's done. Now it doesn't really reload here, and I don't know how to get it to do that, so I just usually go into Finder and then I hop back. And that seems to work. Uh, now I have my cool flower.png. Bada bing, bada boom. So now you can do whatever you want with that. Um, and the cool thing is, is that this actually saves across scenes. So you, it's the data is saved in this tile map. So if you ever needed to make like edits, but you didn't want to override your last sprite, you can just name this something else to create sprite. And now it should come back. There we go. Yay. And that's how you can create sprites real quick with pixel map. I'll show you the script. Uh, this is just so you can follow along at home. Let me zoom in. So yeah, it's a tool. Uh, so that runs an editor. It extends tile map, obviously. Got your palette texture. Again, grab it from lowspec.com slash palette list. Doesn't seem to work on the one pixel one. So just eight pixel or higher. Set the cell according to whatever that uh, texture is for each cell of color. Um, clicking this will will uh, run these functions. That's how that works. Uh, this is string for your sprite name. Anyways, so when you first um, move into it, you'll probably click the uh, create tile set button or checkbox, which immediately runs through this code, setting up your tile set uh, based on that texture. And then it's going to set that back to false. That's how it works. It also sets your cell size to one, so you can actually draw on a per pixel basis. Uh, and clicking the uh, create sprite will run this instead. This just means it'll only run an editor. Uh, so yeah, it'll go through, get the bounds, do some cool stuff go through um, the image and then based on the coordinates of that color, based on the ID of the um, cell in the tile set we created, it will then set the pixel to be that color. Um, and it'll use the coordinates of that tile map cell and then convert that to the coordinates of the image by first getting the offset. And then I'll save that out as a PNG. And that's it. Hope that proves useful to anyone but me.